हेलो एवरीवन सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज मोबाइल इकोसिस्टम ऑफ मोबाइल इंटरफेस इंटरफेस डिजाइनिंग फॉर मोबाइल डिवाइसेस हैव वी कैन सी द डायग्राम फॉर द मोबाइल इकोसिस्टम एज वी कैन एज वी हैव एज वी नो दैट फॉर इच एंड एवरी बिगर थिंग वी इट इज हैविंग सम स्मॉल स्मॉल पार्ट और सम स्मॉल सेक्शंस सो इन द सेम वे द मोबाइल इज एन एंटायरली यूनिक इको सिस्टम एंड इज लाइक द इंटरनेट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ मेनी डिफरेंट पार्ट और यू कैन सी डिफरेंट सेक्शंस व्हिच वर्क सीमलेसली टुगेदर ओके सो द डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द डिफरेंट सेक्शन और वी कैन सी डिफरेंट लेयर्स ऑफ मोबाइल इको सिस्टम्स एज यू कैन सी इन द डायग्राम स्टार्टिंग विद द ऑपरेटर्स वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द बॉटम दैट इज ऑपरेटर द नेटवर्क aggregators devices platform then operating system application framework applications and laws is services okay so all these are the different part or we can say different section which work seamlessly for your for making your mobile device successfully work okay so we are using mobile devices and we are using lot of services also but uh, we don't know that uh, what are the different section and what are the different part which comes which is coming under the action which is coming uh, for action and making a uh, lot of thing for us we don't know okay but these are all parts which works uh, seamlessly uh, for us to perform some sort of actions okay so starting with the first one that is operator okay so starting with the operator the base layer is the mobile ecosystem uh, in the in the mobile ecosystem is the operator as you can see operators go by many names okay it has many name depending on uh, what part of uh, world you happen to be or in which place or at which place you are right now present so operators can be uh, referred to as a mobile network operator mobile service provider mobile or we can say wireless carrier or simply carriers mobile phone operators or cellular companies so all these are the different names of operators so at different places they are having different names operators are what essentially make the entire mobile ecosystem work because if there is no operator then we can't make communication we cannot perform any communication we cannot access the data services or we cannot use any kind of services without the operator okay uh, as we can see in our india we are having lot of uh, operator that is uh, airtel vodafone and uh, jio so we have different operators we can't name all the operators but uh, we have different operators which uh, uh, allow us to make communication make calls uh, send messages use uh, data services and so on so in short we can say they are the gatekeepers to the kingdom and they install in order to provide the services they install cellular towers uh, operate the cellular network make services available for mobile subscriber they perform also they also perform the handling of billing and support rel customer relationship or many things for us okay so this is the base service uh, or the base section or the base part which has been provided in order to uh, perform uh, the mobile devices perfectly coming to the next one okay uh, before, before going to the next one let us see what are the different uh, you can see the image is quite blur but uh, you can see the world largest mobile operator uh, the operators are listed that is uh, china mobile vodafone then other ones also this uh, telenor and uh, mts orange then you can see the airtel also airtel is not listed over here we'll go to the next page no it is not present airtel may be somewhere here only so airtel is not present right now bharti it's a it's, it's a bharti airtel so this is a this, this is a bharti airtel india and jersey and then uh, german sea and sri lanka they are, they're providing jsm gprs and g sm services okay so these are the list of operators and their markets their technology and the number of subscriber right now they are having right now okay coming to the next one that is the second part is the network so operator operates wireless uh, network but uh, in order to provide the network in order to provide the network there must be some sort of technology okay so that is the cellular technology is it is just a radio that receives a signal from an antenna 
the type of radio and antenna determine the capability of the network and services you can enable it okay we have seen lot of services like JSM GPRS edge service HS, HSDPA UMTS okay so we have lot of services now these services are called as 2G 3G 4G 5G all these kind of services are there so these are the different types of network as you can see in the diagram also we are having the different technology that is JSM GPRS edge HSC SD then uh, the remaining also which comes into the TG okay and, and okay, right now we are having a lot of technologies in 4G also okay next is the devices okay so let's focus on the biggest slice of the device pie that is mobile phones okay uh, because uh, we had a, we, we had talked about this um, operators and networks right now uh, so we'll move ahead to the devices as of 2008 there was about 3.6 million mobile phones currently in the use around the world just more than half the planet's population has a mobile phone run so it was a situation in 2008 now you can imagine that right now this is 2020 2020 so how many phones are right now in action or they are working most of these devices are featured phone making up majority of the marketplace a smartphone market share is uh, growing with the introduction of the iPhone and devices based on Android platform so right now we are having um, uh, these two platforms are working very nicely that is uh, iPhone and uh, Android as the next generation devices become a reality the distinction between featured phone and smartphone will go away okay so it was the uh, some uh, some statement about the devices this, uh, these are the statistics you can see mobile devices around the world so 20% of the mobile devices are being held by the China then Africa then Middle East then United States you can see the percentage of mobile devices they are holding next the breakdown of devices the featured phone and the smartphone the the war is between the featured phone and the smartphone only the featured phone the 85 percent of the people uh, are using featured phone in that uh, uh, when the book was written so people were using a featured phone 85 percent people were using the featured phone and only 13 percent people were using a smartphone okay now come to the platform okay when we talk about the platform uh, this is the primary duty is to provide access to the devices and to run software and services on each and each of these devices you need a platform okay so basically all these software pl uh, platform these are split into three categories one is license second is property and third is uh, open source uh, regarding license platforms are sold to devices maker uh, for non-exclusive distribution on devices okay so we have different uh, license platforms platform like uh, J2ME or we can say Java micro edition uh, binary runtime environment for wireless that is brew then third is the window mobile and fourth one is the limo limo is the linux based mobile platform created by the limo foundation although uh, linux is the open source limo is the licensed mobile platform used for the mobile devices so these are different uh, license platform second is the property in, pro in property uh, platforms are designed and developed by the device makers for use on their devices so they are, so they are proprieted to someone uh, specifically so the first is um, palm second is blackberry third is iphone okay so these are the uh, property you can say platforms these are the property platforms which are being used by the device makers only that is palm the palm um, platform can be used on the palm uh, devices only the blackberry and the iphone are having the same situation the last one is the open source open source platforms are mobile platform that uh, are freely available for users to download alter and edit as uh, you know that uh, open source uh, open source code open source uh, uh, softwares are easy to download easy to alter and easy to add it okay open source mobile platforms are never and slightly controversial but they are increasingly gaining traction the example is android is one of the uh, platform this is, a, this is the biggest example we can say uh, which is increasing so fast 
it is developed by open handset alliance okay which is super headed by google okay so right now we can see the android is go uh, grooming and android is having uh, uh, android is uh, having the bigger market uh, which was uh, developed by the open handset alliance by google the next is operating system the next uh, section or part in the ecosystem of mobile devices is operating system so we know if we talk about the operating system then we these two three things comes in our mind that is uh, windows operating system linux operating system okay so we are having different kinds of operating system starting from the symbian so symbian operating system windows mobile then palm linux mac os and android all these are the different kinds of mobile uh, these are different kinds of operating system then application framework uh, the first layer the developer can access is the application framework or api released by one of the companies okay so these are the framework from which application can be made easily okay uh, in market we have different uh, application framework that is java from java framework we can create application s60 is one of the uh, framework then brew then flashlight then windows mobile cocoa touch android sdk wrts webkit the web all these are different uh, we can say uh, application framework okay so from these application framework uh, our developers can easily create an application for the mobile devices okay coming to the next topic uh, that is application coming to the next section of we can say next part in the ecosystem of mobile devices is application application frameworks are used to create applications such as game or web browser or camera or media player or anything although the frameworks are well standardized and devices are not the largest challenge of deploying application is knowing the specific device attributes and capabilities okay if we are uh, creating an application for any device then we must uh, we must uh, gain all the information regarding that particular handset on so application then last is services so finally we come to the last layer in the mobile ecosystem that is services services include tasks such as accessing the internet sending a text message being able to get a location basically anything user is trying to do that is the service okay so in services lot of uh, lot of action will be uh, included so all these are the purpose of all these slide is nothing but that uh, all these are nothing but the part sub part of a bigger game of a bigger system that is the mobile ecosystem okay when mobile ecosystem will work so all these part or all these section will be seamlessly working together okay so all these are nothing but the different uh, parts or different section of the mobile ecosystem so this is a topic which uh, which is important from exam point of view so you need to remember all these uh, part uh, what we have seen in the earlier slide i'll show the slide first so this is the diagram which uh, you need to draw first and then you can explain all the uh, section or all the part uh, separately okay